It's clear that these signs will be up for months, not weeks. So how are people coping with the thought of being cooped up at home until June or July? Well, I'm getting a lot of uh, writing done, and I try and get out to the beach every day. I'm so lucky to live near Kits, right? No shopping for yoga pants, no pub nights, no visits with grandparents. We do video calling with grandparents, and we do that every day. Um, my dad reads to my boys every night. Right now, there's overwhelming compliance with the restrictions, but some wonder if that will start to slip. Something's going to happen. Everyone's going to stop buying into all these doctors. And Premier John Horgan acknowledges anxiety is high, and with that comes a host of other concerns. Domestic violence is a big concern. We haven't seen an uptick uh, uh, in the last briefing that I've had, but these are issues that, that may come into play. Dr. Henry's been clear. These, these initiatives are in place for today, not forever. A psychologist says it's crucial for our mental well-being to maintain daily structure and routine. There's been this novelty of having a more relaxed schedule, being able to stay in pajamas, being able to be a little more flex with what we do. And, and you know, and that's fine. And that's fine for a short period of time. But now as we move forward and look toward this being our new normal for some number of months to come, uh, we can't do that indefinitely. And the reason is we know it will have a detrimental impact on things like our energy, our motivation. She says simulate social connections like eat dinner with friends by video. Screen time used to be something we tried to reduce. Now it's a critical window to the outside world. You're also going to need a pair of sharp scissors, a comb. So brush up on those DIY haircut videos. It's going to be a while before you see your hairstylist again. The big winners in all of this might just be our pets. They're going to be seeing a lot more of us over the next few months. Jordan Armstrong and Viola Global News.